family. It is Christian here. And um, since they are not here right now, I'm going to be doing like a little baking video. It's very, very, very simple. I'm going to be making these Oreo balls, I think they're called. So what you really need, I, sh I totally forgot the camera when I was going to the store. So, so I'm doing it now. But what I got, let's just spread it out really quickly. What I got was, I got this. I wanted it to be white chocolate and I wanted it to be milk chocolate. So I got these two. This one was cheaper, so whatever. And then you're going to need um, eight ounces of cr a cream cheese stick. And then you're going to need a pack of Oreos. And I decided to do this because, you know, I saw it on Facebook, so I was like, why not? And it's like, really, you don't have to really bake anything. It just takes a lot of time. Um, like I said, you're going to need all that stuff. And it's not that hard, really, but we'll get into this video. And, yeah, hopefully, guys, you like it. Well, I'm going to be using two, obviously, two bowls. So I can put milk chocolate and white chocolate in one. Soften the cream cheese. So that's what we'll do now. Obviously, cream cheese. I'm kind of upset that I left the camera here, so you guys can see me out with Kroger. So I had went to Kroger and I forgot my debit card in my uh, car, so I just went to a totally different one because how weird is that? Going into another Kroger or going to the same Kroger and you lost your card. Okay. So it said this needs to be softened. I'm just gonna dump it all in there, I guess. It, ouch, 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 ouch. Well, it says 42 cookies, about three cups. Oh, let's do the thing. Got my cookies in the bag. Maybe I should crush them all, right? I should crush them all. I just do this. It's so one and a half a cup of whatever, like this is what it is. So then you're gonna like I was like, hey mom, maybe I should do a video because you know I never get to do videos by myself. And it'd be pretty cool just to do a video, you know, by myself without coming to be with anyone, I guess. You know, it's really cool that I have, like, you know, my own car, so it's kind of easy for me to do all this stuff without having to, like, worry about me finding a ride and trying to figure out everything I'm going to need to sweep after that. I'm going to put this in the microwave so it can soften up. That bug is really going to make me upset. Oh, I guess it is softened. Cream cheese does not smell very fresh. <laughs> And it said only one block, so hopefully this is gonna be enough. Cause that don't really look like enough, but I guess you're only doing not that much in there. And they're not supposed to be that big, so hopefully this is all right. Hope I'm doing this right, you know? Like, it's my first time doing it. Hopefully it's good, you know? Because, like I said, I've never tried this before. Says roll and like balls. Hopefully, I don't know if you can roll this stuff in balls. I mean, I guess this is this should be okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. But you're just gonna roll it in balls, I guess. Maybe hopefully it should be should have been. This whole process takes about an hour and forty minutes because you want it to be firm. Well, this is only going to take ten minutes. Of have these firm, you know, but for it to like, um, like the chocolate to actually settle in, it's gonna take a while. And while these are getting hard, I'm going to be melting the chocolate and then yeah, hopefully this turns out okay.
This is what I have right here. I guess if I would have used two of the cream cheeses, it probably would have been a lot more. But it, the recipe only called for obviously one. And yeah, I guess it means it's not bad. They're not bad looking. But let me go wash my hands and I'll show you what they look like. And then we're going to pop them in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes so they can get all hard and stuff. And that's when we're going to be doing the um, 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 chocolate. So I'll be right back. So this is what they look like. They're not, obviously, they're not perfect. But this is what they're supposed to look like. Um, I'm going to pop these in the refrigerator, like I said, for about 10 minutes so it can, like, you know, harden up so I can be able to dip them in the, um, melted chocolate. And then the, it's going to have to obviously be frozen until whatever. So we're going to pop these in the freezer and, or in the refrigerator. And I'll be right back. And remember to always clean up after yourself because who wants a dirty workstation? Not this one. So you just want to obviously just clean it. Kind of got it in it. Because I was going to get, because the recipe called for four bags of chocolate. But if this only made 21, then I don't know why I need four bags of chocolate, but maybe that's just me. But I got, obviously, milk chocolate and uh, white chocolate. So we're going to do this in 30 second intervals. Oh yeah, I'd highly recommend doing 30 second intervals instead of um, 10. Get all the chocolate on there. So I'd say about 30, three 30 second intervals to get it all melted. Now it's the white chocolate time. My sunglasses on. Well, I mean, my glasses on. Well, like, what? Words. Words. You can tell me. <laughs> okay, okay. So now that is, these are finished. We'll look at the balls. So. They're out of the refrigerator and they look like this. I mean, they look the same, but they're just a little bit like firmer. Um, so I guess I'm gonna use a fork, I suppose. So I guess I'm just gonna um, dip, I guess every other one in the dark chocolate or the milk chocolate and the white chocolate. I kind of went overboard with um, the uh, chocolates. So, I mean, I guess just put this bad boy on here and I guess just put it on there, right? But yeah, all I'm doing is really dipping it in here. I tried to do it a different way, but I guess I didn't. It didn't really work. So I just put the ball in there, and I'm using a fork and a spoon. And I'm just pouring it on there from one to the other. I mean, I guess I'm not really doing every other one, but whatever. Oops. Okay, we could do it over here now. I'm just like spreading a little bit of this, like the opposite chocolate on, obviously the opposite color. So if it's white, I'm doing brown, and if it's brown, I'm doing white. And then you want to crush up more of this stuff, obviously. Like so. I mean, like I said, it doesn't really have to be perfect, 
per se, you know, you just wanting to get on there. It's, it's kind of like decoration. But yeah, I'm pretty proud of these things. These things look pretty cool, you ask me. So yeah, and I'll obviously let you know how, I mean, obviously I'm not finished. Sorry, I can't really see me talking. Okay, so this is what they look like. Um, I have to obviously do these, but I wanted you guys to see that, you know, what this looks like. Because I'm going to stop recording here and I'll let you know how they look like, what they look like when they're all finished and how they taste. So, stay tuned. Have a wonderful all right, day. Right. well, um, they are finished, I guess you could say. Um, I'll show you what they look like. They're just, you know, hard. Um, there's extra chocolate on some, but that's really okay. Um, but yeah, this is what they look like. I'm pretty satisfied with how they turned out. Um, hopefully they're really good, because I'd be really upset if they weren't. Yeah, I'm gonna try one. Um, I'm gonna watch me. Sorry I'm watching Switch Up Earth right now. I'll be I'm really scared. Oh yeah. It's really good. <laughs>